are going to jump in the Wayback Machine. Look at Steve Berry and Michelle hey, Brown back, back together go. again. Yeah. yeah. How about this little <laughs> reunion uh, from many years ago? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Iowa Live. We're talking about all the fun things, Steve Berry, that are happening at Lakeside Casino this Fourth of July yeah. weekend. Actually, the the fifth and the sixth and this. You guys always have something going on there, don't you? Always something going on, and they're getting such a quick drive from Des Moines. Head on down and, uh, and and have a terrific weekend. Again, holiday weekend. A lot of people have plans, but if you really kind of want to let us kind of host everything for you, come on down this weekend. We've got Bike Night, uh, our monthly event. This is going to be this Saturday, and that's from 5 to 8. Come on, just bring your bike down. We've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, we talked about the pig races okay, earlier. So yeah, I don't know about barbecue after pig races. <laughs> yes, so it's hog, hog, hog. Mm -hmm. We've got the pig races uh, three times each day, and we've got the uh, the Best in the Midwest Barbecue Cookout, and uh, we've got some examples right here. All right, yeah. we have a very special guest yes. joining us, Michelle. Dennis Carino, welcome from my Blazing pleasure, my pleasure, Bronco my pleasure. Barbecue. Yes. And uh, I understand you do uh, barbecue championships all over the place. We do. From Florida to Cleveland to California. Wow. And you how many you were just giving me a number on championship titles. We, we hold titles. over 650 national titles. Wow. S so really? you know a thing or two about how to barbecue. Right. We've done uh, five events already this summer and five events we've won. Really? So you're, yeah. you're going in as the odds-on favorite? Uh, we hope so. You hope so. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to an event like this, mm -hmm. who is being, who's getting involved in this? What other kind of uh, barbecue joints are involved? We're, we're bringing in all national cookers. Okay. Period. So the best of the best what's going to be at the casino this okay. weekend competing. And uh, so bragging rights goes home with them. What's, the, what's, your, what's your secret? Well, you know, ribs have fibers. And the fibers are open when you're cooking the rib. So now, do you want a heavily cooked rib? You, you uh, smoke in the beginning. And if you want a grayer rib, like you see now, then you, you add your smoke at the end. And then it still gives you your smoke ring on the top. And a lot of times we tell people, you caramelize your sauce on the ribs. And what that means is that you're brushing the ribs mm -hmm. when they're done, fully done, on your grill. So you brush the barbecue sauce on the top. You flip the rib and you also do the back sides. And people say, well, I Why don't would eat you do the, the back There side? you go. Because it cracks that membrane that's in the back. Oh, okay, Because right. everything yeah. starts to caramelize and all the sugars come out and it cracks that membrane. So when you eat it, all your meat comes off the it bone. It falls off the, I never oh, even heard of that. There you and go. when you're caramelizing, you do it five or six times. So you have to paint your rib, flip it. Then while you're waiting, you do the backside. I'm sure that the sauce you put on there is it has to be the right kind of sauce. Well, too. our sauce, of course. <laughs> uh, of course, <laughs> I, and, sauce. and the key to that, I'm, I'm sure, is that. the combination of uh, what your your uh, your sweetness and then uh, do you have a, a vinegar base? Uh, two, no, uh, no vinegar in yours. No, okay, it's all tomato based. Tomato based. You don't okay. get into a vinegar base until you hit on down south. Okay, like the Carolinas and got everything. it. Okay, uh, they do a heavy vinegar base. But yours is giving it the ability to crack, like you mentioned, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that. And again, you're doing it. So it, you have to have a hot heat. And when that barbecue sauce hits that heat, it, it caramelizes the back. When it does, boom, cracks it. And then when you eat it, all the meat comes it right off the right bone. Off. Now, how long are we cooking these ribs? Because that seems to be. You're going to cook the ribs, we do, at least four hours. And then we hold the rib for another two. What do you mean hold? And we have warmers, hot boxes. Mm -hmm. So we keep them at about 160 in the uh, boxes, and then that cooked rib that we smoked and everything in our smokers, then that goes onto the grill, and then that's when the caramelization So it starts. goes back onto the grill after you've taken it off. Yeah, low and slow, and then a, a final, exactly. final kicker. Yeah, it's, you know, so show and go, well, that's when you put your barbecue sauce in there. And the same thing at home. And a lot of times we tell people, when you do ribs at home, do them in the ovens first. We have $37,000 ovens sitting on our smokers that are sitting on our trailers. We have two of them we travel with. And all it is is a big oven. You set the temperature, and then you add your smoke as you're cooking. At home, you put a tray, you season your ribs the way you like them, and then you bake them. You like bake we, them? Like we're doing. Uh, how, how warm are we baking them? You're, you're at about 350 to 375 Which for is about a two hours. Normal temp, okay. Mm -hmm. You go two hours, then take them out, and then go to your grill. Then you can add your smoke, you can do it, and you can't hurt that rib. Really? Because all your fibers are You don't have to pre-boil them or anything? Oh, no. Nobody boils a rib. Oh, really? Your grandmother used to boil. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Because the reason why they did that is because uh, pork used to be dirty. Mm -hmm. So they used to bring all the dirt out of it. Your grandmother would skew the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I that made a few. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So today, 
uh, meat, uh, pork is pure. Mm. That's why when you go in a restaurant they, and you order something that has to do with like a pork roast or something, how do you want it done? People say, well, medium, okay. Because they're, it's a pure meat today. It's the other meat. So mm -hmm. it, those who love barbecue, mm -hmm. this weekend is a beautiful opportunity for everybody because you're the best of the best. And you're going to be taste. You're right? going to taste. I was going to say, how, what, how do Boy. people get involved with this, Steve? That's my next question here. If you say this sounds really good, got all these great barbecue champions are going to be down at Lakeside. What can people come out and, and experience for themselves? Well, you're going to have, uh, again, the, the beauty of this is you're going to have all people with different kinds of personalities that are going to be coming out in their food, different times, kinds of spices, barbecue sauces, ways of cooking, times of cooking, and different kinds of products, too, whether it's pulled pork, maybe you got a, a, you Brisket. know, a, a rump roast, you got ribs. So you're going to be able to taste a lot of varieties based upon personality, as well as regional. You've got a lot of regional varieties and how people are going to be uh, barbecuing. So uh, people are going to going to taste a whole lot of different stuff and it's going to be delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So is this going to be the Cleveland Rocks version of uh, barbecue? This, this is one of the finest ones out there that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> Zero in on Bra Blazing Broncos barbecue. Now how there, long right? have you been barbecuing? 32 years. 32. So you kind of have it down pat. We started when barbecue really was a black thing in black neighborhoods and you went down there and they opened up the 55 gallon drums right. you know, and you brought home ribs. Well, Cleveland started this whole concept. So they brought in a rib restaurant from every state. Fortunately, in 71, we were involved, um, and we went down and competed, and we've been in ever since. So now if you're, they don't get an opportunity to get you at a championship or a, a, you know, one of these types of mm -hmm. events, do you have a location or that that people can I do, the golf course, a boating. Ah, okay, so, <laughs> they have to catch, so if they want, they have to catch you at one they of these barbecue do. events. They most certainly do. All right. Up on your yes. website, too. You have a website to keep an eye on where, do. where you are and what you're doing, right? Blazingbronco.com. There it is Very right there. Very nice. Look at all those delicious ribs. I love All the I, more reason to get down to Lakeside Casino. And don't forget, we have other things. We have sides. Baked beans, coleslaw, cornbread, uh, potato salad. And all this is going to be available uh, coming up this weekend? To everybody, yep. To everybody. Everybody. So is there a, a, a fee to get into this? Uh, Not a fee to get into it, but there, there are going to be some items for sale, obviously. Okay. Uh, so people can recoup at least their expenses. Right, so, exactly. Uh, yeah. but Which again, makes sense. Yeah. yeah there's we're no selling absolutely. dinners. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. that's just it. But you're able to buy a dinner that oh, yes. has been created yep. basically Come from down the, hungry, and you won't the Cleveland go area. <laughs> and this is not a competition. We may look at that down the road as far as competition goes, yeah. but this is more of a, a, a tasting. But the, the, okay. the barbecue, okay. the folks down there barbecuing, they know they're kind of competing amongst themselves. So but maybe we have some right, people right. saying, this is yeah. my favorite. All right, so this gives you an opportunity to really sample what's out there across the country. Exactly. All in one location. Correct. Do we know how many, roughly how many different uh, establishments are going to be out there? We don't quite know yet. Uh, There's because are they still coming in? in? Are they still yeah, coming in? Yeah, they're still coming in. No, people right. want to get information about uh, getting involved with this. Can they still do that, Steve? Well, they can certainly call our number down there and find out. We'll okay. have all the information they need if they want to do it. So, Perfect. sounds like you're kind of hand picking everybody that gets to well, you be know a what? part of this. Sound in it. something like this, you want to bring the best of the best yeah. in, mm -hmm. and I love competition. So, we're bringing the big boys. All in. right, yeah, I this, love this to hear that. This all looks well and good. It looks well and good, Michelle. You're gonna you give it the taste, taste test. No, we got we got to figure out, you know, how good this guy's stuff really is. Are both plates the same, or they have different? Sauces? Well, we have a right plate and a left plate. Okay, <laughs> there you go. All right, now here, here, look how, look how the, the meat. The, oh yeah. The right plate. Look how the meat is coming it's off. It's been of this. cracked, Lou. The, the the meat is just falling off. Of this. this is what I want to see. See, it's it's breaking off here. Oh, I better have good. about six or seven of these to make sure it's okay. <laughs> I think the caramelization is good. I'm not a barbecue expert, but this is delicious. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely awesome. It's well a done. pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much for being here again. Lakeside Casino. It's not that far from Des Moines. And barbecue from around the country available all for you, you to partake in coming up this weekend. Lots of great events. And the pig races, you don't want to miss it happening this weekend. Cheers. Hey, Michelle, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we'll be cheers. right back. Thank Happy you for Ford. this. Thank Happy you for Ford. this. My pleasure. Steve, My pleasure. always a pleasure. Hey, you